The Norwood Library has a lot of exciting events coming up in April. Library Director Clayton Shiver delivers this month's Moral Moment. Greetings from the Moral Memorial Library, Norwood's public library for everyone. I'm Clayton Cheever. I use he, his pronouns, and I'm your library director. I'd like to tell you about a few things happening here at the library this April. The Discovery Channel celebrates Shark Week every summer, but we can't wait, and we're excited to announce that on Tuesday afternoon, April 18th, starting at 2, we're hosting a special program all about shark biology for kids. Kristen from the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy in Chatham will be presenting this educational and interactive program about our favorite summer visitors, great white sharks. Registration is required, so please visit our library online calendar or give us a call so we can help you claim a spot while they're still available. This program is made possible by the wonderful help of the Friends of the Library. Learn more about the Friends and how you can join them in supporting library programs at Norwood 101, an open house, on Monday evening, April 10th from 6 to 8, when you can visit the library and meet with town officials and organizations to learn more about what really makes this the amazing community it is, the people. Registration for Norwood 101 is not required, but the first 100 people who do register will be entered into a raffle with some pretty great local prizes. We'll also have canvas bags with information about local businesses while supplies last. We are excited to announce our second annual Peeps Diorama Contest, which is starting on Friday, April 14th. We had some great entries last year, and I can't wait to see what creative scenes people dream up this spring. Here's how it works. Peeps must be the central character or component of your diorama. The entire diorama must fit within one photograph frame for online sharing and voting. There are no other size limitations, though. Dioramas must relate somehow to this year's theme, which is the Motion Peepture Academy Presents. We're happy to provide Peeps starter packs, which include one package of Peeps, and you can use additional Peeps if you wish. We, you can pick up Peeps starter packs at the children's desk the week starting Friday the 14th and before the end of the day on Friday, April 24th. Photographs of complete dioramas must be emailed to us by Monday, April 24th. Online and in-library voting will run from Wednesday, April 26th through Wednesday the 3rd of May. And we love the solidarity of online voting, but only votes cast here in the library will count to help us determine the winners, which we'll announce on Friday, May 5th, the first day of the Friends Book Sale. Registration is required to get a Peep Starter Pack, so please register today and reserve your spot in this fun competition. There's a limit of one registration per household to help us share our supplies with as many people as possible. Now, the library is open seven days a week, and as late as 9 o'clock on Monday through Thursday, we have an incredible number of resources that are available through our library website 24 hours a day. Check it out at norwoodlibrary.org. One of our most popular online resources is our streaming and downloadable ebooks. If you've downloaded our Overdrive app, please pay close attention. The vendor is stopping support and this app will, start, will stop working on May 1st. Now's the time to transition to the Libby app if you haven't already. Not only can you use the Libby app to search for books that you can read and listen to on your mobile device, you can also use it to access Canopy and Indie Flicks for great movies, Craftsy, cello concerts, and our great courses collection. I would be foolish while encouraging you to download apps to also not mention Hoopla for more books, a great graphic novel and music collection, and of course our own app for the Minuteman Library Network, where you can easily store your library card, search our catalog, place and manage holds, reserve museum passes, and more. Learn more on our website or simply drop by or give us a call. We'll be happy to help you unlock these great tools you already have access to from your phone and any other mobile devices you regularly use. Now, I've brought some books with me today that I'm excited to tell you about. Alana K. Arnold wrote and Charles Santoso created the pictures for this charming book, A Boy Called Bat. This is the first book in a trilogy that was started in 2017. Starring Bixby Alexander Tam, who goes by the nickname Bat, this young person on the autism spectrum got a wonderful surprise when their mom, a veterinarian, brought home a baby skunk that he quickly falls in love with and has a month to convince his mom that this adorable friend might just make a pretty terrific pet before she delivers it to a wild animal shelter. It's a fun story for middle grade readers. The depictions of life with autism have won this series numerous accolades. 
April is Autism Awareness and Acceptance Month, and I have a couple of other books here for older readers as well. The first is a work of fiction whose primary protagonist is also on the spectrum. The Maid by Nita Prose is a great read. It's uplifting, has well-drawn characters, and an engaging plot. It was a pick in the Good Morning America book club and attracted a good amount of positive attention since it was published last year. The Carrying is a collection of poems by Ada Limon. First published in 2018, this is a powerful collection from a finalist for the National Book Award and a winner of the National Book Critics Circle Award. These are vulnerable, tender, serious, brave poems exploring the time between rapturous youth and the acceptance that follows survival. Give yourself a gift and check out some poetry this month. Now I could talk about books all day, but we have so much more here at the library. April 3rd is World Party Day, and we have just the thing to get your next part party started. It's a party light. Some of our friends had a great time enjoying this during our recent stuffed animal sleepover. One of Norwood's hidden treasures is our library of things. The party light is just one example of the many things we have in our collection. I encourage you to check out our library of things online to get inspired for all the ways you can benefit from our shared treasures. This has been a moral moment. From everyone here at the library, I wish you and yours a safe and happy March. We look forward to seeing you in the library.